Hey guys, in this review we're checking out the Typher sous vide station. This is an all-in-one unit, it comes with everything you need to start sous vide cooking immediately. This is probably the most expensive sous vide station on the market right now, but it comes with everything you need. There's no need to purchase anything separately. Out of the box it comes with a circulator tower with a huge 12.3 inch touchscreen, a 12 liter double walled container, 40 vacuum bags, vacuum sealer, and two snap weights that double as rulers. Literally everything you need to get going. This huge screen is the brains of the unit and you can literally know nothing about sous vide and this unit will walk you through everything with high quality videos and step-by-step -step instructions. It has a ton of recipes that you can use or just get some inspiration. It also connects via Wi-Fi and you can use your phone to control it remotely. It has three modes, manual mode, recipe mode, and schedule mode. The schedule mode is the most unique feature on this sous vide and you can drop your meat in the morning, schedule a time to start cooking, and it will give you the recommended amount of ice to put in the container to keep your food safe while you're at work or away. Then it will start on its own at the scheduled time. For my very first cook, I'm doing a couple one and a half inch thick ribeyes that I picked up from Costco. I seasoned these with SBG from Fire and Smoke. This vacuum sealer is rechargeable and charges wirelessly and magnetically via the circulation tower. It did a great job with these proprietary Typher bags. I filled the tank up with hot tap water and set these ribeyes to cook for two hours at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The beautiful thing about sous vide is that you can't overcook your meat. These steaks will never go over 130 degrees no matter how long you cook them. Now the texture will change depending on the length of the cook, but they will never go over your desired doneness. I think one and a half to two hours is the sweet spot for ribeyes and you wouldn't want to go past four hours before the texture becomes undesirable. At the end of two hours I pulled these out, dried them off and now I'm going to sear them on a ripping hot griddle. 539, 540, a little over 500. I put some avocado oil down for its high smoke point. Then I just did a quick sear and finished off with an Irish butter bath. I mean, honestly, this is one of the easiest ways to nail a perfect steak. Whether rare, medium rare, it's hard to screw this up. These steaks were a perfect medium rare. Up next is something I've been wanting to try for a while, a slow cooked medium rare chuck roast. This I'm seasoning up with some garlic salt, garlic powder, and black pepper, and I'm gonna cook this for 31 hours. I wanted to go over 24 hours and 31 hours puts us at dinner time the next day. <laughs> the next day when it was finished, I fired up my Weber to get a nice charcoal sear. While that's lighting, I drained all these juices and made a quick and easy pan gravy. I'm using Flame Tech Grill Smoke and Sizzle because it makes a nice evenly lit uniform searing area. And now for the reveal. This is absolute perfection as far as color goes. This is exactly what I was looking for and the taste was truly unique to me. I've never had anything like it. 
It was like a cross between a roast and a brisket, and super beefy and tender, really good actually. Next up, I'm trying the Starbucks inspired sous vide egg bites. I looked up a bunch of recipes online and I loosely followed Once Upon a Chef's recipe, except I omitted the cornstarch, and I followed Typher's app for time and temperature. This recipe is based off the bacon and Gruyere egg bites, and let me tell you, these were shockingly good. Way better than any egg bites I've had at Starbucks. One thing I forgot to do was oil the cups, but they popped out just fine. They didn't keep well in the fridge, they kinda got mushy and hard to get out, and I wonder if the cornstarch would help that. But these were amazing, I would definitely give them a try. So the last thing I'm gonna try is chicken, and I'm only cooking this chicken to 145 degrees, which seems really wrong. But if you cook it long enough, it's completely safe. I'm doing a simple lemon pepper chicken, and according to the USDA, as long as the chicken reaches a temp of 145 degrees and stays there for 8.2 to 13 minutes, depending on the fat content, it's completely safe. I'm cooking these for two hours just to be extra safe. This chicken was great, super juicy, and I used it for chicken salad. So all in all, my experience with the Typher sous vide station was very positive. I think this is a great cooking appliance to achieve absolute perfect cooking results. The only con is the price. It's super expensive, but it comes with everything you need and more. This touchscreen is sick, and if you need a machine that's going to think for you, this is it. That's it for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one.